When we say yes to something, like let's say you say yes to, I'm gonna make a great big family dinner. It's gonna be amazing, everybody's gonna come over, love it, we're gonna make all this delicious food. Okay, and you're all excited about that. Now, you should remember and you should factor in, right? We gotta make all the food, we gotta get ready for the dinner, but then after the dinner, what do we have to do? We gotta clean up. We have the maintenance afterwards. We have to clean all those dishes and pots and pans and, and whatever else was used for that dinner. That's the maintenance. And that's the part that everybody forgets, right? Because it's the part that we're like, wait, like the dinner's over, aren't we done here? No, you are not. You are listening to the Decluttering Club podcast. I'm your host, Sarah Mueller, and it's my mission to equip women to declutter their homes, their time, and their lives so that they have energy for what matters most. All right. In today's episode of the podcast, I have a very little tip that is going to save you incredible amounts of time. This is so simple. This I can explain this to you in three words. This is a three-word tip. And once you hear this and once you start applying this in your life, things will never be the same. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. So before I get to the tip, and yes, I'm going to leave you hanging. So make sure you don't click away and go do something else because this is going to change your life. But the reason that I'm talking about this is because clutter is tightly linked to our habits and to, and specifically to the habits of maintenance. Okay, when I say maintenance, I mean just taking care of the things that need to be done in your house, in your life, everywhere. Okay, so it is as simple as loading the dishwasher. I don't know, brushing your teeth, changing the oil in your car, doing the laundry, getting the mail, right? Those are really mundane kind of maintenance tasks, but it could be something way more complicated, like making sure that you, I don't know, that you do something that's needed that you need to do for your job on a regular basis. Okay. So maintenance is anything that we are doing regularly. Could be every single day, could be once a year, anywhere in between. Okay. That is what maintenance is. And Maintenance is like the invisible, it could be either the invisible hero or the invisible villain in your life, depending on how you are viewing maintenance and then how you are handling it. So many of us say yes to something without considering the maintenance cause. And if you think about, like, imagine, I don't know, imagine buying a car, right? You buy a car and you're, someone is like, here, here's a car. Maybe someone gives you a car. They're like, you can have this car. This is an amazing car. It's totally free. And you're like, woohoo, I won the lottery. <laughs> However, part of you should say, ding, 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 hang on. How about the maintenance? What kind of maintenance does this need? I have a friend who had a Porsche, right? And she was like, this is such a great car. She had an amazing car. She loved it. And then one day she told me, she's like, oh my goodness, to get the oil change in this Porsche, I don't know what it was. I think it was like $500. Maybe it was $1,000. I don't know. It was a lot. So, you know, you have the purchase price of the car and then you have the maintenance. And over time, the maintenance is going to be, I mean, depending on what it is, right? It could be a lot more than the purchase. And I think we forget this. Okay. So how does this relate back to our homes and back to clutter? Well, here's how it works. When we say yes to something, like let's say you say yes to, I'm going to make a great big family dinner. It's going to be amazing. Everybody's going to come over. Love it. We're going to make all this delicious food. Okay. And you're all excited about that. Now you should remember and you should factor in, right? We got to make all the food. We got to get ready for the dinner. But then after the dinner, what do we have to do? We got to clean up. We have the maintenance afterwards. We have to clean all those dishes and pots and pans and, and whatever else was used for that dinner. That's the maintenance. And that's the part that everybody forgets, right? Because it's the part that we're like, wait, like the dinner's over. Aren't we done here? No, you are not. <laughs> right? And when we neglect to factor in maintenance, then we cause ourselves all kinds of trouble. Okay. But getting back to this little tip that I want to share with you, this is something that I have been telling my boys for their entire lives. And they're pretty good at it, although they do still need reminders. And here's the tip. The tip is don't walk away. Don't walk away. What does this mean? 
don't walk away means when you are, let's say, let's say you've had a drink, okay? You got yourself a nice cold glass of water. You went and sat down on the couch. You got your cup with you. You got your glass with you. You drink your water. A little bit later on, you are ready to get up and go on and do something else. Don't walk away. When you get up, pick up that glass and bring it back to the kitchen and put it in the dishwasher or wash it. Don't walk away. Okay. How else does this work? It works like you blow your nose, right? Or let's, let's, let's take a different example. You open a package of something or you open the mail. Okay. You open the mail. You, you open the mail. You take out the letter and then you put the envelope down and you look at the letter. All good, right? Okay. Well, now you're ready to go on and do something else, you know, or something else catches your attention. Don't walk away. Don't walk away from that envelope. That envelope should not be on the counter. It needs to go in the recycle. And the letter needs to go somewhere too. I don't know. Maybe it goes in your inbox. Maybe it is junk mail. It goes in the recycle as well. Whatever needs to happen. But people forget about these things. They just set these things down and they walk away. And then all of a sudden, now we have all this mess to deal with. Whereas if we don't walk away and we handle that thing, we handle the envelope, we handle the, 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 the tissue that we used or the cup or, or whatever it is, if we handle it immediately, then it's almost like we didn't have to do any extra work, right? Because how hard is it to put an envelope in the recycle? It's probably not hard at all. You probably have to have just the tiniest amount of effort to do it. It is not hard to do. Now, if you come back later and you notice, oh, there's an envelope. I didn't throw it away. Or even worse, you notice, oh, there's 20 envelopes or there's 20 things I've walked away from. Now, all of a sudden, we have a whole bunch of work waiting for us. But if we handle it immediately, if we don't walk away and we just deal with that one little thing as it comes up, it is basically it's zero extra work. You see how that works? This is such a cool thing, okay? And you can train yourself to do this. And this is going to come up all over the place once you start noticing. So it looks like hanging a towel back up after you use it instead of throwing it on the floor, dealing with that envelope, dealing with that glass, closing cupboard doors. I know some people, some of them live in my house, (laughs) who shall remain nameless, they don't actually close the cupboard doors all the time, right? They just... And it's not because, I really don't think it's because they're lazy. It's not because they're rude. They just didn't think about it. It just wasn't on their radar and they're off and doing something else. But they come back later and they say, oh my gosh, all the drawers are open and it looks messy. You know, it, it, it looks like the dresser threw up and now all of a sudden we have a job to do. So just close that drawer, right? So these are little tiny things that you can do and that you can train your family to do that will just immediately bring an instant upgrade to your home and to your life. Okay. They're super easy. Now, some of you are like, Oh my gosh, I have never put a cup in the dishwasher and in my entire life after I was done with it. Like, I just don't know how to do that. And that feels like work. And I can hear my mother talking to me and maybe, you know, maybe your mother's voice is in your head the way mine is probably in my kids' heads. And, you know, she's saying, why are you leaving your stuff lying around, right? So we don't want to go there. This is not an opportunity to beat yourself up and to hear somebody nagging at you. That's not what's going on here. Okay, so I just want you to get curious. And maybe you pick one little thing to start with, right? We want to build this habit. This is a practice that you can adopt, okay? And when we are practicing something, what does that mean? That means we're not going to get it right every single time. It's not something that we do 100% of the time. We're not looking for perfection here. We're just looking to build up this habit, okay? So pick one little thing that you want to start doing. And when you notice, oops, I, you know, I started to get up and leave my glass. Uh Uh-oh, don't walk away. I'm not going to walk away. You go back, you just do it, and then you move on with your day and your life. And you don't make it a big deal. This is supposed to be a very, very tiny deal. This is a tiny micro habit that I want you to start building. And once you've got it down with one thing, then you can add on another and another and another. And over time, it will grow. Okay? 
And again, this little tiny habit is going to keep the clutter from piling up. It's going to save you so much time because you don't have to think about it. It's going to be in habit. It's going to be on autopilot. It's going to be your default mode once you build that habit. And now you never think about it again. You just do it most of the time. And sometimes you don't because we're not robots. We're human beings and we're not perfect. Okay. But you know, everybody who comes to me and they say, oh my gosh, I just can't keep up. Or I just, you know, I, I spent all this time cleaning up this, this space and then it just piled up again. Oh, okay. Well, that's because you don't have, don't walk away, like built into your, into your life yet. Yeah, that's all that that means, right? So we want to start adding that in, in little, little tiny ways that take literally, I'm saying like, if it takes less than 15 seconds, then I want you to do it. If it takes more than 15 seconds, then maybe you do come back to it later. A lot of times we really inflate the effort required to do something way beyond what it actually takes. You know, have you ever felt like that? Oh my gosh, now I have to go and go put this thing away. Is it really that hard? Not so much. Probably not, right? Hashtag tough love. But if that's the way you are thinking about it, then you'll be like, this is a big deal. This is hard. And so you need to kind of retrain yourself, reprogram yourself so that you realize, oh, this is so simple. This is a tiny little thing that I'm going to just add on in there. It's just the tiniest amount of effort. And once you build that habit, once you have that practice, not going to be a big deal anymore. It's going to be on autopilot. And it'll be like the cleaning fairy came along behind you and did all of these things that are currently taking you a lot of effort to do. Okay. Let me know what you think about this. Yet let me know if you try this out. Don't walk away. Start telling yourselves, right? With love and compassion, always, 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 but give it a try. See what happens, right? Hashtag imperfect action. Hashtag tough love. This will make a huge difference and I know you're going to love it. I'll see you next time. That's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review. It would really help us to get the word out. And if you'd like to continue your decluttering journey with us, find us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube at Decluttering Club, or on our website at thedeclutteringclub.com.